you really don't want to know how I'm filming this. <laughs> uh, yeah. A anyway, I'm still lagging behind uh, with my uh, yeah real money making work uh, in the first place. But uh, yeah, in as a result of that in uh, my YouTube electronic stuff. Uh, my bench is full still with another project which will be coming up in one or two weeks and uh, yeah I wanted to do something fast and easy and uh, our well, local electronic dealers Conrad is selling advent calendars and I got the one for the Internet of Things and I've got one for the Arduino. And yeah, let's see what's in here. Yeah, it, it, it's a funny perspective when I'm, uh, yeah, oh, just cutting into the box, coming in from the side. Uh, so does that open now? Okay. Uh, Oh yeah, it's a real advent, advent calendar. That's cool. I, am I still in shot? Yeah, I'm, I'm still in shot. Um, yeah, uh, I'm sorry for this. I'm trying not to give you a headache. Come on. Let me cut somewhere, please. Yeah, because I... I'm coming from the side in, but I think that's okay, huh? Because up here somewhere is my iPhone uh, on a mini tripod on a chair. Yeah, <clears throat> it's mm, not nice. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Okay, so, and yeah, oh look. Uh, it's in German. Don't worry. I've downloaded the English version too. <laughs> okay, so uh, ooh. I think we will need that for something. And uh, let me totally clear about this. Uh, this is not a video for kids because we will do interesting things like, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know, not for kids anyway, just to be sure, because this is an electronics channel that sometimes involves mains voltage, which can cause serious injuries or even death and at one point yeah we are at the internet of things thing now which is also yeah a real calendar I mean not not very nice to look at uh, to look at it but uh, yeah at least it has 24 doors. That's something, isn't it? And of course, it's the first advent. Okay. German manual included. I think it's German. Yep, but I also printed out the... Uh, where is it? The English manual, not that one. That one here, the English version. And by the way, both are available under, uh, yeah, for sale now, under a little, 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 10 bucks. I think the IoT thing is uh, seven bucks and uh, <clears throat> that Arduino thingy is uh, 10 bucks or something like that. So uh, if you are in Europe and you want to order some, uh, yeah, now it's the time. It's from uh, yeah, Conrad. Both are distributing them. Okay, that's uh, 
blah, blah. Okay, uh, where should we start? Uh, with Arduino, of course. Because I know Arduinos, I don't know anything about Internet of Things. Uh, yeah. So we start with number one, which is uh, two. Who has one? Come on. Here, here's one. Ha <laughs> So it, it, it's a real advent calendar. I, 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 I really thought there were would be just, you know, uh, 24 little projects, something, and uh, then a box with all the parts, but no. You can open the first door and you get out uh, a Francis Arduino Nano clone. Well, at least it's not a Japanese. Francis is, uh, uh, sorry, Chinese. Uh, can I get a focus here? So uh, this is really uh, at least German branded. Francis is a German publication house. Uh, yeah, looks like a nano clone or something. Anyway, time to have a look at, uh, oh no, uh, let's, let's do this the other way around. Let's uh, put that out shot for a second and go for the Internet of Things. And yeah, I already know. Okay, so this is just another colored, uh, yeah, cardboard cover here because, uh, yeah, day one is here. And what we get here is Ah, greedy. Huh. Uh, bigger board. As I said, I'm I'm not an IoT guy, but uh, yeah. This is something you fangled with a Wi-Fi antenna back here and it works with the internet and uh, whatnot and yeah it's all it's also uh, yeah Francis so no Chinese knockoffs uh, uh, we'll see okay now it's time to return to our Arduino project and have a look at the manual. What uh, at the manual? What we are supposed to do? Well, on day one we shall connect our nano compatible board. Yeah, I'm here running on batteries. Uh, to the computer using a micro USB cable. <clears throat> it also says use an USB 201 port. Uh, by the way, micro USB cable not included, but you don't have to yeah, buy one, they say, because uh, uh, most smartphones and such have such a thing with them. So yeah, let's just connect and yeah, something's happening. I mean, the usual, yeah. Uh, if I start, give me a second, uh, the Arduino environment, then we can see if it detects the thing. Uh, sorry, I'm giving you a view on the screen right in a moment. A, a. There we are. So let's see if we have... Okay, Nano, Artemega, Port. It doesn't... 
port 14? I have no idea. Um, just removed it uh, again. The USB cable that is. Let's see, port. Okay, so it was showing up as port 14, which is good. So. Okay, wait for it. Something smells like it's burning. Port 14. Yeah. I have absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea. Something around here is really smelly. Sorry, I, uh, I have to sniff that for just a second. Oh yeah. Something's going on on that IoT board. Something, yeah, it smells like something is getting really, really hot on here. Yeah, and it's a processor. Jeez, what's wrong with that thing? Mm. Oh, we see how long it will survive, but uh, I never noticed that smell coming off from a nano. No smoke yet. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> not for kids. And uh, well, I, I was uh, really not sure if I do uh, some Christmas or Advent videos because uh, the thing from last year, which involved again not for kids, uh, a ten kilowatt transformer, a big one, several hundred watts. Uh, yeah, uh, card link. Uh, yeah. Not so many people watched it, so, but uh, yeah, I need something to do to, uh, yeah, to upload something, uh, to do something that doesn't involve too much work because, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm still catching up from uh, the broken ankle of my spouse, yeah, card link. So, yeah, that's the first thing I say. It's a little bit, uh, who. Uh, but anyway, um, it looks like, uh, yeah, there's a port coming up, serial port. That's all we want for the moment. And yeah, I put that away and let it smolder for a bit because they want us to use a different software. And... Yeah, just give me a sec and uh, yeah, I'll zoom in on that. Anyway, uh, they want you to install the M Block 3. There's also M Block 4, but the M Block 3 software. And uh, yeah, it seems to have finished and they give you the download link in the manual. They don't give you a download link uh, for the probably necessary, or might be necessary USB drivers for that thingy. They just say, yeah, uh, install it. Yeah, unpack the zip art drive. Yeah, where do I get it? Eh. Again, this is not, absolutely not for kids. So this M-Block stuff warns network access to the internet through the Windows firewall and uh, questionable very questionable. Anyway, uh, yeah, I continue with the installation. So finished the installation of the M block and uh, I don't know, yeah, uh, I think it's okay. Yeah, you can see what's going on. And uh, yeah, I'm reading here the manual because uh, yeah, we do it by the manual. 
Uh, okay, M block connect with the nano is ba ba ba. Uh, yeah, it mentioned that it uh, you should allow access to the firewall. It started up in English. Wonderful, everything's nice. And uh, as I said, I'm just reading down here. Um, select the edit Arduino mode from the menu. Uh, edit Arduino mode. Ah, look. Oh, we have our Arduino window over here. That's nice. Um, all supported boards are listed in the board menu. Uh, select the Arduino Nano. Okay. Boards menu. Select Arduino Nano with a mega. Yeah, we do that. In order, connect uh, to, yeah, connect serial port. Okay. Connect, serial port, and we know it's on COM14. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, now I'm out of ideas. Oh no, uh, continues. LED flashes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm reading that out to you, okay? Because uh, or you can uh, have a look see here and pause and uh, I... Uh, Read it out to you, LED flashes, blah, blah, blah. Programs for the advent calendar. The first program, 10M block, uses the most important blocks. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Uh, LED flashes. The programs for the advent calendar. The programs from the advent calendar can be downloaded number by days. Select file, load, project from the menu to open a program. Okay. File, uh, what was that? File load project. Uh, there's no load project from, so load project. Okay. Uh, let me fiddle with that a little bit. Yeah, I actually found it uh, somewhere in the documentation, uh, the download link where you can get, uh, obviously, the drivers and everything. And now I should be able uh, to do the next step in that funny Panda software, or uh, M-Block software, and uh, file load projects. And I have to go to, uh, da -da. yeah, there's a lot of stuff on this computer. Um, um, M block, M block, Conrad, Conrad, first day program. And oh, we have it. We have it on the screen. Um, did I mention this is definitely not for kids? Uh, okay, I just have to mention it. Uh, to be sure, uh, yeah, you have heard the copper stuff, so I mentioned it uh, throughout the video. Um, okay, uh, next. Um, well, just reading here through. LED ember side, okay, the program, we loaded it, uh, you know what, uh, it, it, it's already flashing, uh, repeat 10 times, set digital pin 13 to high weight 0. Point. okay. This uh, will be a different kind of flash, I guess. Uh, uh, God, this, this is an awful video, but uh, now it's Christmas first advent. Um, okay, uh, let's see uh, how can we upload that. Maybe the book says something doesn't say how to use the software. 
Ah, transferring programs to the Nano. The right part of the M block screen. Huh. Okay. Uh, what the heck? Why don't they use the Arduino software in the first place? I mean, for that kind of code. Upload to Arduino. Okay. Now again, firewall. And it's, it's, uh, now I have a reflection, sorry, in the screen. It's, it's awful. You have to live with that. Upload finished. Closed. And there's nothing here. I, well, I remove it from the USB and start it up again. And we sh should see maybe 10 flashes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Can I get a focus here, please? Uh, not really. Oh, that's a great program. So after you power up your Arduino, you get some flashes. Very nice. Okay, um, yeah, enough with that stuff. Let me set up. And this thing is really getting hot. Not as hot with, as with the default program. I have no idea what, what software they preload to that thing. Now it's, it's more, uh, yeah, it's not as hot anymore after I uploaded that other program. Anyway, uh, Internet of Things Advent Calendar. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> maybe in the next video. I think I have enough today from Advent Calendars. <laughs> Bye.